Thursday, September the 19th, gang. Yeah, it's Threshold Thursday. That's what we normally call it. And you've come to know and love certain aspects of Threshold Thursday. Love, maybe not, but no, for sure. Uh, we usually have some sort of high intensity cardio movement, whether that be burpees, biking, rowing, maybe, maybe uh, shuttle sprints, uh, something that you can move fast. Uh, usually I'm gonna ask you to maybe buy in with something in a very small amount of time and then max out a movement and we don't have any of that stuff today. Today what we are going to do is, you, you got that 15, 21 or 9, 15, 21 uh, rep scheme that we, we've come to know and love from Fran, 21, 15, 9 I should say. We did that on Monday, sort of, did we not? Uh, we're going to rely on it again. It's just a really familiar rep scheme in all of CrossFit, and we find different ways to use it, and today we have it. Um, what we're going to think of today as is like a up the mountain, down the mountain when it comes to rep scheme, right? So it's nine, it's a triplet, nine, 15, 21. And then we kind of stay static. You know, there's a little bit of a plateau at the top of this mountain. We have 21 again, and then 15 and nine. So that's the way we've chosen to implement the rep scheme today. What are the movements of this triplet? They are, of course, you gotta have something like the bike. And today we have bike calories for you. And then we have uh, two movements that I think we can sort of just blindly run through quickly, but you know, with fitness. And they are ball slams and then V-ups, which some people and you know, maybe many people will modify down to either tuck-ups or sit-ups. So what are we looking for today? First off, context. A lot of times you see that built-in rest or that really go really fast and then dial it back with rest or go really fast and then do a max effort movement and then dial it back with rest. You don't have that today. We're gonna expose a bigger audience to it tomorrow. So it's not gonna be a common thing, but this week we found a workout that we thought it looked or sounded or felt better on a Friday. So tomorrow's Friday's workout this week will have built-in rest. Today's does not. Today should function more like the way we're gonna uh, we're gonna drum up intensity and threshold training today is just through the sheer willpower and pride that you have in wanting to treat this one like a race. This is a this is a, a race. This is a race to the finish line today. It is a four time workout on a Thursday where hopefully what we've done here is include three movements that you can just sort of turn your mind off and go, right? I know there's V ups in this workout, but generally speaking, people will immediately modify that or feel pretty good about their V ups. Yeah, they might have to break it up a little bit, but not too much. Um, in order to be able to do or accomplish bigger sets. We don't even have really bigger sets today. 21 could be seen as a pretty big set, but we don't have anything crazy. And here's what I found in doing this workout. Um, I am not normally someone who is very good at sprinting on the bike if I have other things to do. But if it's it's dependent on what those other things are. If I have other, if I have other very highly intense movements, uh, we'll consider the bike an intense movement like burpees or even weightlifting or my least favorite movement, weighted box step overs. If those are also in the workout, then you're not getting many RPMs out of me. Today, you spend enough time doing the V ups and the the uh, ball snatch or the uh, the ball snatches, the the slam balls that when you get back to the bike, you are you haven't been there long enough that you should feel recovered or refreshed and find yourself hopefully like me, going at a cadence or RPMs that is much, not much higher, but higher than normal in a workout like this. Uh, maybe you in your mind have something to compare that to. I generally do. I was at about 65 to 68 RPMs the entire time today, whereas generally in a workout like this, I'm around 60. Another thing that is true of me, you may not like V-ups and you may think I'm being facetious when I say this, but I also am not very great at V-ups. I get, my, my rhythm gets off a little bit. I get fatigued. I've not ever really been someone who, who could say that I have a, that core is my strong point. Um, but I was able to do big, I was able to do every set of V-ups unbroken today. And that is not generally the case when V-ups get programmed for me specifically. So it's the same idea as with the bike. We hope that we've given you enough to do between sets of V-ups and between sets of bike calories that when you get back to that thing, you know, there was no other interference for that particular movement pattern that you feel like you can go. 
right? If the V-ups are a core, specifically, you know, your abdominal muscles movement, the bike is not so much that, neither is the ball slam, right? And the bike is just kind of an all out um, engine effort, whereas the slam ball is more of a hinge and overhead movement. Yeah, we had one of those yesterday as well, um, but it'll be lighter most likely today. Do the math in your head about what the total volume of this one is. In general, what I think is gonna happen is, the way that Threshold Thursday workouts usually go is that it might take us 30 minutes to get through the wad, but most of that ends up being rest. Today, there's no rest, but in the aggregate, you will have spent probably more time exercising today than you typically do on a Thursday workout. That's how I found it. I, I actually think my time, I, I completely forget what my time was. I think it was 14.52. I wrote it down somewhere. Um, I remember thinking to myself, ah, I'm almost at 15. I'm, let's see if I can get this done before 15. So I think it was, so I think we're going to see times anywhere between that and like 20, 22 minutes. We're not even going to cap it. We just want people to finish it. Um, I'm going to put in the notes what you guys can and should do if there are more than six people. Uh, you know, in other words, the bikes are all taken. Uh, I'll put that in the notes so that you know. Generally speaking, yeah, we can throw a ski and a row in today. That's not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, or we can also do the the method where some people start on the V-ups or slam balls and it's kind of a, a musical chairs version of the bike where we have a row set aside in case you are the last one to the bike. Uh, but it's fast enough that that may never happen. So we'll see. It'll, again, uh, how I think we should deal with this is in the notes. Have a good day.